Outlook is a personal information manager produced by Microsoft and is part of the Microsoft Office suite. Although Outlook is primarily used as an email application, it also provides an interactive calendar, a contact list, and a task management system, a journal, and more. We're currently in the Outlook Today view, which is the default view for Outlook. Here, we have a menu bar, a standard toolbar, and a web toolbar. The toolbars have a number of buttons that are shortcuts for actions that you take on a frequent basis. If any of the toolbars are not visible, you can turn them on by selecting View, Toolbars. Toolbars that are currently displayed will have a check beside them. If there's no check, click the toolbar name to turn it on. In any Microsoft product, you can often find multiple ways to accomplish a task. In the upper right corner is a Help feature to help with tasks that you're unsure of. Here, you can type in a keyword or a question to easily search for information on how to use a particular feature. All of this is pretty common in Microsoft, but over to the left is really the core of Outlook. Here, we have the navigation pane. From the navigation pane, you can access your calendar, contacts, tasks, or your mail. Let's take a look at the mail section. The default is personal folders. So you'll see the Outlook Today section on the right as long as personal folders is selected. From this mail section, you can access your inbox, your sent items, and other mail folders. In the calendar section of Outlook, you can enter your appointments and view them in various formats. The Outlook calendar not only helps you keep track of your appointments, it can send you reminders and work with other features of Outlook such as contacts, mail, or tasks. In the contacts section, you can keep track of friends, family, business contacts, and more. Think of it as your personal electronic address and phone directory. In the Tasks section, you can create to-do lists for your daily activities. Outlook can be as simple or as complex as you need it to be. It's up to you to decide how you want to use this software.